um, teams that are struggling to get the run going or getting the run going against the Raiders. Quarterbacks that are really struggling and not looking very good are looking really good against the Raiders, right? So our defense is really not getting it done. We really thought we were going to be able to lean on this defense. We're going to have this top five defense, and we're going to go, and and all we need is subpar QB play, somebody who's not going to turn the ball over, and at least put a couple of points on the board, and our defense will carry us through games. Our defense is not getting turnovers. Our defense is not getting stops. Our defense, we have the most missed tackles in the NFL. The most missed tackles. Art in Dallas, I can draft better than this. Hire me. Hey, man. Show up with a Raiders polo and um, some Oakley sunglasses and just show up to Vegas, man. Interview for the job. <laughs> Man, it's like the first time in forever I'm having trouble keeping up with the chat. Anthony, True Raider, this team organization as a whole better fix everything quick and fast. Uh, Max might be the next one next season finally showing his frustration on Sunday shoving his coach. You know, and Max really tried to clean that up. And he's like, oh, I love that guy. And that was, you know, it was right after a sack. And that's just like how we do. But like when he pushed him, the look on the coach's face was that of confusion, right? He looked like, like, what the hell, dude? You know, so I'm not really sure who to believe. You know, um, we have it all the time where players are saying things like Devontae Adams saying, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not trying to leave. Um, and then actually he was, right? We had uh, Max Crosby saying, oh, yeah, I love Josh McDaniels, blah, 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 right? And then that's not actually the case. And these guys, they don't want to say certain things because, I mean, they end up getting fined. They end up getting uh, in trouble. They end up, you know, being in a bad position with coaches they still have to play with. Like, they're going to do the 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 PR game, and they're going to do what they do, right? Um, you know, I'm surprised uh, Raider7528 isn't in the chat saying Team Tank. But I got to tell you, I'm not going to root for the Raiders to lose. I never will. However, if we continue to lose games, I mean, is it really something to be upset about? Is it, right? And I'm not rooting for us. To, I want us to go in every Sunday and win, right? You're right. The Raiders can't afford to lose Crosby, man. You know, um, now the draft capital that we could potentially get for Max Crosby, I think that we probably value him a lot more than other teams do, as we do with most of our players, right? And especially if Crosby was, like, trying to push his way out, they're not going to give a shit. Now, the Lions looting, losing Aiden Hutchinson is a huge loss for them. They are they are in win-now mode. They've never won a – like, they're, they're really in a position where they might be wanting to give an offer, right? And, you know, Max Crosby with his, his Michigan ties and things like that, that's where he went to college, like – I don't know, man. It's it's really hard because I don't want to see Max go. No matter what we got for Max Crosby, I would be upset. Right? And realistically, the Max trade compensation that we might get for Max Crosby would be like two firsts. Like if they, let's say they gave us 2025 and 2026 first and second round pick. Like that's a good compensation, right? But man, whatever.